Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question merge sorted array. Okay, so let me explain with this example. Nums1 is 1, 2, 3, and Nums2 two is 2, 5, 6. So first of all, let's think about uh, how we can iterate through Nums1. I mean, we have two choices from the beginning or from the end. And uh, my strategy is iterate through from the end. Why? So that's because we have some number in the like uh, index 0, index 1, index 3, I mean, left side of nums 1. So in that case, so 1 is the uh, smallest, and 2 is the uh, second smallest, and the next number should be um, 2 from nums 2, right? So this 2 goes to index 2 at nums 1. But uh, we have 3, right? So that's why uh, we keep this 3 with like another variable, and then update index 2 with 2. So, a little bit tough, right? Uh, on the other hand, if we iterate through from the end, so actually uh, from index 3, 4, 5, and so we have kind of a, like an available um, position. So we know that na length of nums 1 is m plus n. So we have kind of an available position. We don't have to care about uh, uh, like a, this, this zero. So that's why uh, if we put a bigger number, I mean biggest number from the end, so we don't have to care about uh, like uh, keeping this number, keeping that number, something like that. And uh, nums one is uh, sorted in non-decreasing order, and uh, nums two also. So that's why the last number is the biggest number in each array. So that's why uh, let's compare the number from the end, so 3 versus 6. And uh, so let's say um, m index and uh, n index. And uh, also we create a, let's say, right index. So right index is uh, like a position where we sh should put next biggest number. So let's compare 3 with 6. So 6 is greater than 3, right? So that's why this 6 goes to the last index here. And then n index move next. And also um, this right index move next. And the next, we compare 3 with 5. And the 5 is greater than 3, right? So that's why this 5 goes to right portion here. And then move next. And then right position also move next. And the uh, next three versus two. So three is uh, bigger than two, right? So that's why this three goes to right position. And then M index move next. And uh, right position also move next. And then compare two versus two. So they are same, right? So we put one of them uh, into uh, index two. So I put this two at index two. Oops. And then in index move next, but uh, already minus one. So that's why uh, we stop iteration and uh, we don't have to return anything. So we just create a one, two, two, three, five, six. And uh, one more important thing is that how many times do we have to iterate through um, nums one and nums two? So my answer is until n index reach minus one. Why? So let's see this example. So numbers one has seven, eight, nine. So all numbers are greater than the last index uh, in numbers two. So these three numbers uh, go to the last three position, right? So this is R and this is a M index. And uh, first of all, uh, this nine goes to the last index. And then right position move next, M position move next, and then Eight goes to right position, and then right position move next, M position move next, and this seven goes to right position, seven, and then right position is now index two. So this question is like we have to put all numbers into numbers one. So uh, we successfully move these three to the last three position. But we still have like a two, five, six, right? So that's why uh, if m index is minus one, uh, so 
we try to move um, rest of nums2 number to uh, nums1. So in this case, we move 6 to index 2, and the n index move next, and uh, we move 5, because uh, m1, m index is already minus 1. So 5 move to index 1, oh, 5, and then right position is now index 0, and the n position, n index is index 0. So this 2 goes to index 0. And then now n1 reach minus 1, so we stop iteration. So we create a 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So looks good. And uh, let's see another example. So now, so all numbers in numbers 2 is greater than the last number in numbers 1. So these three numbers goes to the last three position. So first of all, this term goes to the last index. And then and index move next, and the right is now here. And then 9 goes to the right position. 9 and the nums. Nums index now index 0, and the uh, right position is now index 3. And uh, 8 goes to the right position. And then nums, uh, n index is now minus 1, and the uh, right position is index 2. So now uh, nums index reach minus 1, and so we stop iteration. And uh, we don't have to care about uh, these three numbers. That's because we know that uh, so these numbers are already sorted in non-decreasing order. So that's why uh, we don't have to care about the rest of nums 1. Easy, right? That is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, create a m index equal n m minus 1. And n index equal n minus 1. And the right position should be m plus n minus 1. And uh, let's compare from the end. And uh, so condition is while n index is greater than or equal 0, we continue. And uh, first of all, if m index is greater than or equal 0, and uh, nums1 m index is greater than nums2 and uh, n index. In that case, nums1 and the right position should be nums1 and uh, m index. And after that, add minus 1 to m index. Else, so um, if uh, numbers, number from numbers 2 is greater than number from numbers 1, or so m index already reach minus 1, in that case, uh, we have to move numbers from numbers 2 to numbers 1. So numbers 1 and the right position should be numbers 2 and uh, n index. After that, update n index minus equal 1. And then every time right position move next, so right minus equal 1. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be m multiply n. m is a number of elements in the numbers 1, and n is a number of elements in numbers 2. And the space complexity is, I think, 1. We use just simple variable. OK, let's try the coding exercise. So before I explain uh, the solution, do you have any idea? So my strategy is, so let me put here. So this is a numbers 1, and uh, these numbers are coming from numbers 2. So first of all, um, we put all numbers from numbers 2 into numbers 1. I mean, the last three position in this case. So in the case, we have 2 here, and 5 here, and 6 here. But the problem is uh, numbers 2 also have like a small number, right? 
So in the end, we should have one, two, two, three, five, six, right? But uh, no worry, it's simple. All we have to do is just sort this input array. Okay, so let's write the code. So, so m position should be three. So zero, one, two, three, right here. And at first, so this position is zero, this position is zero, and this position is zero. So uh, first step is we put all numbers from numbers two into numbers one, right? So that's why uh, actually uh, it's very simple. So numbers one and uh, m is index three, right? So we should include this m position. So that's why m and uh, column equal numbers two. And then next nums oops nums one dot sort. I think uh, this works. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of m plus n log m plus n. So m plus n is a length of uh, nums one. And uh, we use a sort algorithm, so that's why. And the space complexity is, so I think uh, it depends on the language you use. So sorting algorithm needs some extra space. So that's why uh, we can say space complexity is order of sort. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.